Welcome or welcome back on any help at C squared. In this example, you need to find this limit. Limit when x approach infinity of sine of 3x over 3x. And I'm going to start for this statement. Negative 1 less or equal sine of 3x less or equals 1. All the sine function oscillates between 1 and negative 1. So that's the thing I said here. Now I'm going to divide by x, by 3x in fact, and let's be sure x is greater than 0. We should say that, and that follows this statement you see here x approaches infinity, right? That means x is greater than 0. This inequality will stay, and in fact, the original inequality becomes negative 1 over 3x less or equals sine of 3x over 3x. And that will be less or equals 1 over 3x. And now we're going to have to take a look to limit when x approach infinity of negative 1 over 3x and that one will be 0 because once, once that x is getting larger this quotient becomes closer to 0. Similar for the second one limit when x approach infinity of 1 over 3x will be also 0. So in fact, what we have here, it's 0 less or equal in this limit process, of course, sine of 3x over 3x less or equal 0. This is what we call the squeeze theorem. The first limit, the one on the left, is 0. The second limit, the one on the right, is 0. Therefore, this limit will be also zero. So we're going to say limit on x approach infinity of sine of 3x over 3x equals zero. And again, I use here what is called the squeeze theorem. You can see that also the limit is equal to zero when x approach infinity in the picture. Once x is getting larger and larger, uh, the function getting closer and closer to zero. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.